If you use Android, let me show you how you can delete applications on your device. Hey everyone, I'm Wilson, welcome to the channel. One of the ways for managing storage space on your device is by deleting applications. Applications that you are no longer using or applications that you never used. So today I'm going to show you how you can delete applications on your Android device. Without further ado, let's dive into it. On my device on screen here, you can see that I have a few applications and we are going to uninstall some of them. Let's start with this one, Yango. So to uninstall an application, what you have to do is just tap and hold your finger there on the app and you'll get this pop-up menu. You will get a lot of options, but for the purpose of this tutorial, let's focus on remove and uninstall. Now let's click on remove. If you tap on remove, the application will be removed from your home screen. It will not be uninstalled from your device, just removed from your home screen. Now let's say I want to uninstall this application. Using your finger, swipe from the top up to access the app drawer. Now right here, let's look for Yango. My apps here are organized in alphabetical order, so I know Yango will be on the last page. So I'm gonna swipe. So you have Yango. Now right here, what I'm going to do is tap and hold on the icon. I'll get this pop-up menu and you can see here that I have at the bottom the option to add to the home screen and the option to uninstall it. So since I want to uninstall this application, what I'm going to do is tap on uninstall. You'll get this pop-up notification right here at the bottom asking if you really want to uninstall this application. Because this is what I want, I'm going to tap on OK. you'll get this notification at the bottom saying that the application was uninstalled. So this way you uninstall an application from your device. And right here at the app drawer, you will see that the application was removed. For example, at the top of your app drawer, you have the option to search. If you tap there and search for Yango, which is the application that we just removed, you will see that nothing appears. So that means that we have completely removed the application from the device. The other way for doing that is by going through the settings. So my system settings apps is on the second page and you can see right here, I'm going to tap there, it will open the settings. If you don't have your settings on any page, what you can do is swipe from the bottom up to access the app drawer and look for the settings. Tap here on the search and then write settings and the settings application will appear. Tap there. To open it. So right here, what we're going to do is scroll down until we find apps. So the apps section is right here. Tap there. And you will have here a list of all the applications installed on your device. Some of these applications you installed it yourself. The other ones came installed with your Android device. And because of that, some of them you can uninstall it and some of them you cannot. So I'm going to show you how you can uninstall an application through the settings or how you can force stop an application if you cannot uninstall it. For this second example, I'm going to uninstall the WISE application. So right here, I'm going to scroll down and find WISE application. So the WISE application is right here. I'm going to tap there. Right here, you have all the system settings related to the WISE application. And right at the bottom, you can see that I have the option to open the app uninstall the app or force stop the app. So what I'm going to do here is uninstall this application. To do that, I'm going to tap here where I have uninstall it. You will get this pop-up notification asking if you really want to uninstall this application. Because this is what I want, I'm going to tap OK. It show you that the system is uninstalling. And once it finishes, because the application is no longer here, it will take you back to the list of apps on your system. If you scroll down, you will see that we no longer have here the WISE app. Or right here at the top on the right side, you can tap on the search option and type WISE. You will see no results found. So that means we have successfully removed the WISE application. Tap on the X to clear your search. Tap on back to go back to the list apps. One of the applications that I have here is Android Auto. I've not installed this application, but this one came with the Android system. So what I want to do because I don't use it is to uninstall this application. So tap there. 
Right here you can see the system options related to this app. If we look right here at the bottom, we don't have the option to uninstall it. But we do have the option to disable or to force stop it. Now, there is a difference between disable an application and force stop it. If you disable an application, the app turns off until you turn it on back again. If you force stop an application, the application closes and all its background process. If you force stop an application to turn it on, you just have to go to the app and tap on it and it will open. Now, if you disable the application, you have to go to the settings app and turn that option on so that you can enable it. Because I don't use this app and I know that this application will not break any system function, I want to disable it. So I'm going to tap here. You get this pop-up notification saying that disabling this app may cause other apps to stop working correctly. Because I know I don't use any other app linked to this one, what I'm going to do is disable the app. The app is disabled now. You can see right here at the top where you have Android Auto. Right below you have Disable It. And right here at the bottom where we had Disable, now we have Turn On. So if you did that by mistake and you see that your phone is not working properly, you can tap there to turn that app on again. On the right side, the other option you have is to force stop the application. You can tap there. You'll get this pop-up notification right here at the bottom. Because I know I don't use it, I'm going to tap OK and it will force disable the application. Once again, you did not uninstall the application. In this case, if you disable or force stop it by mistake, you can turn it on again. And to do that is very simple. You just go to your phone and then tap on turn it on. You will see right here at the top that Android Auto became uninstalled. And at the bottom, instead of turn on, you have disable. This is how you disable or force stop an application if you cannot uninstall it. Well, everyone, this is how you delete applications on Android device. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.